how do I do this? Good morning. Welcome back to the vlogs. Today is April 13th. Today is April 13th. It is a Tuesday and I'm vlogging again. There's a lot that you guys missed and I'm going to fill you in. But first we're going to go to Target because I need agave for my coffee right now and also other stuff. So let's go to Target. Okay guys, I have not at all formulated a list, which maybe I should, because I'm most likely gonna forget. But, okay, yeah, I can't not do it. <laughs> let's make a quick little things I need list and then I will adjust accordingly. Okay, this is an awful list, there's two things on it. Um, but that's fine. Let's go. This is what I look like. Your basket. We both look like we're naked. Hi guys, I've returned from Target. I'm gonna show you what I got real quick. And I also ordered some breakfast from Don Pan. Okay. Baby, you need to see this shame. <laughs> this is the first thing I got. All of this might make sense later. Right now, you might be like, I mean, why are you eating this? The This four pack of Velveeta shell and cheese original. Uh, what is this even? And then I got this, these veggie straws. This comes with six single serve bags. Then I got two of these top tier noodles. If you know that I love noodles and you know that I love noodles. I got agave so I can drink my coffee today. <laughs> I got these oatmeal raisin cookies. I got some rice. I don't know if we still had rice. So I got some rice. Um, I got this ice cream for Augie. Do you guys even know that he's doing keto? <laughs> yeah. They know? So that's what he's been having. I, on the other hand, have maintained a Talenti whore. Coffee chocolate chip. You can't see it because it's super frosty, but that's what it is. I got a single orange. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look what I got. This makes no sense. This is Campbell's Sauces Skillet Thai Curry Chicken. Just add the chicken. <laughs> because I've been having trouble eating my meats, but I feel like maybe if it was like this flavor, I could give that a go. And this seems like it could be yummy. Last two things. I got... My glowing skin gummy vitamins, those have collagen and stuff. And I got my Ghirardelli sea salt caramel dark chocolate bunnies. Now, I didn't get to get any Easter chocolate this Easter, which makes me really sad because that's like actually one of my favorite parts of the year is being able to buy the Easter chocolates. And I didn't get to do it. And then all the Easter candy was gone but then I go and there was one single package waiting there for me. And so I bought it and I'm very excited about it. And then for breakfast, let me show you what I got. So I got a chicken empanada. It's fried, it's greasy and good. And a cachapa. Let's show you that. Could I explain this food to you? Probably not, but corn, cheese, butter, that's all I got. And I'm very excited to eat it. So I'm gonna do that and then I will come back to you guys with a little bit of a story time. <laughs> BRB, bye. Hi guys. I think it's time to fill in some blanks. My camera is like gonna die, but I'm gonna try to summarize things as best I can. So it's obviously been a couple weeks since I've posted a vlog. Um, 
That's because first of all, I didn't have any, like first week that I didn't post a vlog, I just literally didn't have any footage and I was feeling kind of down. And so I was like, okay, forget it. No need to stress myself out. I'll come up with something to film once the time comes. But I was like very much in a cycle of like work, come home, work, come home. And I wasn't doing anything. So I just avoided it at that point. And then shortly afterwards, Augie got COVID. And then the next week I got COVID. So we've kind of been in the house for three weeks. I went back to work a couple days ago on Friday, today's Tuesday. I went back to work, today's my first day off since. So it's just kind of been a couple of days of getting readjusted into being at work and the getting over COVID process. What you've missed is First of all, I feel like I wasn't really with you guys during this, but I started becoming much better at waking up earlier. So I would wake up at like 8 a.m. every day and I was comfortable with it. And I got into like a really good place with that. And then when Augie got COVID, I started working out and going outside on the balcony and just kind of like getting into a good schedule. And then I got COVID. And the first day was like pretty bad. I had a fever and um, symptoms were pretty shit, but it got better after like the first week. And then I'm still left with the, the lack of smell. So I can't smell anything. I also, that's, I don't know if I can't taste anything either if it's just affected by the lack of smell, but I guess we'll have to see about that. Otherwise, I'm like 100% fine. Everything's good and dandy. I am not transmittable at the moment. Um, I just can't smell anything. So I've kind of been having a lot of trouble with like food. I don't really want to eat a lot of things because I know that it doesn't taste the same. So I've kind of been like skipping out on breakfast, skipping out on dinner. I've just been having like sandwiches and my cauliflower hash browns. And then like, that's it. Like maybe I'll have a cookie here and there. There's just like certain things that taste okay without smell and there's certain things that just don't. So it's been pretty hard. I've been very picky and food is already something that like just makes me fucking nauseous to deal with. So I feel like the additional stress of like now I also can't taste or smell is very uh stressful but i'm trying to figure it out so that's why i got all these like random little snacks is like just things that right now i'm okay with um i also bought the orange because i've seen hella people on tiktok like burn an orange and get their smell back or something so i'm gonna give that a try i don't even know what that's about but that's what you guys have missed quite a bit of development also again i started a podcast so if you want to see some clips from it right now we haven't posted the actual full episodes on anything yet we've just kind of been editing little 60 seconds clips like highlights on our tiktok account it's the bozarks sorry weird cut but my camera died our tiktok is the bozarks that's also what the podcast is going to be called we also have an instagram but honestly i would go on our tiktok it's kind of super fun also i just like have a lot of things to buy today because Today is the beginning of the Sephora sale, the VIB, I think. So I have like, I want a lot of things. So I'm gonna try to get it. But let's fucking clean. I'm gonna pee. Lovely to see you guys again, honestly. Feels good. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm done. My current level of cleaning. I told Augie I'm gonna do like a 50% clean and then film, like get ready, film, and then maybe do another 25% and then we can record the podcast and then I can completely clean, finish up so that tomorrow everything's nice and clean, clean, but that I still have time today to mess everything up without messing up my cleaning. Anywho, it's only 12.30, so I still got all the fucking time in the world. I might do the, the Sephora shopping. Um, I guess I'll let you guys know what I'm gonna get. <laughs> guys i fucked up so i have been like for the past week i've been adding like i knew this sale was coming and i've been adding crap to my cart for 
this past week like just like anything i would see on tiktok i'd add it to my cart honestly my total was 288 dollars and i've literally just never spent that much money at sephora in my life and so i was like okay i can't do that and then i was like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that klarna thing which is like after pay so i was like i'm gonna do that it makes me feel better it's like 70 dollars per payment i was like that's a little better so i i literally do this all the time i pressed like as if to go to the next step and i said thank you for your order and i didn't choose klarna so i just paid that shit in full and that's not what i meant to do so i guess we have a fat ass sephora haul coming soon i hope i like this shit Fuck. but yeah i guess now i'm gonna move the laundry to the dryer and take a shower I swear this past month has been the most money I've just ever spent. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Also, it's like super not rewarding because all this money I've spent and I haven't been able to open anything because it's just been sitting there until I could film this video. So it's got me feeling super silly. <sighs> Anywho. <laughs> I can't believe I've done this. Gotta yell out into the world sometimes. I just put my towel in the washing machine. Great. I guess I'm gonna just get in there and then I'll see you guys when I'm out and getting ready to film. How exciting. Ah, let me charge my battery. Good thing I remembered. Okay, BRB guys. I'm so triggered by this fucking Sephora order. We're here at this shitty angle that I like to do, but I started doing my makeup. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of concealer. I washed my face. I obviously washed my hair. Um, Augie's home now. I'm kind of just like, I'm trying to not do the most, but also look pretty, you know? Okay. So, my hair is so grown out. I don't know if you guys remember what it used to look like. The way I style it is I don't. I just do that blow drying kind of outwards the entire time. And just roll with this little look. Cute. Precious. Love. Okay, guys, I'm going to transition into haul mode, so this is what I look like. And this is what I look like. This is what Augie looks like, I know you missed him so much. Oh, I miss. Save it. <laughs> Hi, guys. Very much update. Um, so I just filmed the whole haul of stuff, and a lot of the H&M stuff was not it. <laughs> so we are going to H&M so I can return all of it not all of it some of it some things did not work out I'm gonna go hopefully return everything and then if we happen to end up at Zara <laughs> the big problem I have is that I keep fucking buying pants when I don't have tops I have pants I got nothing to wear with them but I will see you guys when we are at H&M when we arrive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Very exciting. We don't go outside. And obviously it's been a while in particular since we've been outside at all, like at all at all, but we don't go outside even when we can. So uh, we're celebrating. This is a celebratory day. Pardon me? But I said I will see you guys in H&M, so I will. We did it. I returned the stuff. <laughs> I said, time to tell the vlog I fucked up. Done what? <laughs> I feel less bad. Show them the bag. Show them the bag. You've done it. I did it. Uh, we're gonna go pay for the parking because we forgot to do that. And then we're gonna eat. 
I wonder if that's supposed to be cold. Maybe, maybe it's like a little dip. Okay, hey, today is Monday, April 19th, and my mom and sister are about to come pick me up and we're gonna go get tattoos. Um, I haven't gotten a tattoo in like a year and a half, and I'm very excited. Llegó ahora mismo saliendo. <laughs> We're going to get our now. tattoos. No, it's no fun that way. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you nervous? Oh, uh, no. Did you decide what direction you're doing everything in and stuff? No. Of course not. You hopping like right now? Oh, no, I did my nails. <gasps> <laughs> Right. So cute. Okay. okay guys, I'll see you when we're at the tattoo place because there's no reason for me to be doing this. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're having dinner. Hi guys, I'm back home. Um, we're about to film an episode of our podcast, The Bozarks. The Bozarks. Um, and if you guys want to see how it fucking looked, go on The Bozarks on TikTok. But I'm very excited, so we're gonna do that, and then I'll probably see you guys after we record the podcast to finish off the night a little bit. Bye! Hi guys! I didn't finish vlogging yesterday because it got really late after the podcast. We had to like edit some of it, and then it was late, so I just went to bed as soon as I could. But here we are. Today's today. It's uh, April 20th. Um, I just got home from work, but I wanted to show you guys a couple things. First of all, I bought some stuff from work. Um, one of the things was an in-store purchase, which is this top. It's like a plain black tank top, but it's like sports bra material. And then I bought like three more things online. So those will be shipped at some point. And then when I get them, I'll obviously show it to you guys, but I got like a top, a pair of pants, and like a shrug. But then at some point in the day, I made a crazy decision. And I bought a new phone. OMG! Okay, unboxing. This is the box. And I had to get this crap because, oh, because Apple switched up on us. Wow, it's very beautiful. What color did you get? I have black, I always get black. Jesus, this is pretty. Oh my god. Okay, so it's got like, it makes you feel a little iPhone 4, which I loved. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Wow. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever touched. Damn, that feels hefty. How gorgeous is that? Mm. Hi, hello. Yeah. Hi, hello. Snapped on him. Anywho, I'm gonna be doing this for a little bit, so just wanted to show you guys. 
Good morning. Go oh, no, no. Good afternoon as fuck. It's 3.49. I'm hitting you guys up mostly because my Sephora order delivered to Kendall. I don't live there anymore. I just kind of spent the whole morning, early afternoon working on the, like our cover, our graphic, our logo. I don't really know for the Bozarks. Um, very excited about that. Love it. 10 out of 10. Augie's not home right now. I put on a sheet mask earlier. I have to clean up my mess from breakfast because it's a big one. And then I want to put away the laundry and take a shower. Hi vlog. Yesterday, I obviously did not end the vlog, but we're gonna let that slide. Welcome back. Today's uh, Thursday, April 22nd. It's 9.11 p.m. I got home from work just a little bit ago. I stayed a little later today, but I got my Sephora package. I'm very excited to open it and see what the heck I bought. And Heidi brought me some other stuff, which I'm gonna show you first. So first of all, she brought me this camera. And then she also brought me these Hanes briefs for men that she bought and I guess they didn't fit her. Um, so she just gave those to me. And then separately, I also got my Amazon package, which has a phone case for my phone. So I can use it. I'm still using my old phone at the moment because I just I thought about it and I didn't want to go without a case. I felt like the wrong thing to do. And then the star of the show is my Sephora package. Let's open her up. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of a steal. Just so you guys can see, this box is pretty full of shit. First thing I got is the Dr. Jart Derma Mask Water Jet Vital Hydra Solution. Um, people really like these masks. I've personally never tried one, but I love the Sephora sheet masks. And one time I went to Sephora and the lady was like, just get these, they're the same price and they're better. So, hope she's right. Very excited to try that. This is the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. Basically, a skincare guy I follow, he said that this was one of his favorite vitamin C serums. The other ones were so dumb expensive, so I just got that one. It's super cute. I like Summer Fridays. They've been good to me in the past. So I also got the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. So I guess this is just like a moisturizer, but somebody I follow on TikTok used it. So I thought it was my turn. Oh, how cute. So this is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush in the shade Joy. Now is Rare Beauty Selena Gomez's brand? I think it could be. It looks like this. I've also seen people use this on TikTok. I, the shade was sold out, but I liked this one. It seemed a little more peachy and I think I'm more of a peachy than a pink. Next up, I got the Super Goop Glow Screen. We all know and love her from TikTok also. It looks like this. After buying this, all I can see now is everyone telling me what the dupe for this is. Next up, I got the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid. Same skincare guy said this one was good. Um, this is for hydration for your skin. I've never had a hyaluronic acid. I've heard great things. So I will start incorporating this into my skincare. <laughs> Next up, I got the Ula Henriksen uh, Glow 2OH Dark Spot Toner. Also, I've heard good things with this about this. I'm really getting to a certain point where my dark spots are really stressing me out. But this is it. It's a pretty hefty bottle. Oh, let's see if this is good. Next up, I got the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. Newly released. Um, I put my shade of the Fenty Concealer in there and they're like, sorry, couldn't find a match. 
So I don't know what that's about. I just guessed a random one based off of like the three pictures they had. I'm sure I could have done more research, but I didn't. This is it. I can't tell how this looks right now, but we'll see. Next up, I got the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I haven't had a setting spray in years. I used to use like the, I liked the Smashbox one for a minute, but I can't even remember if it was really good or not. But I obviously used like the Urban Decay crap. I hated it. So I saw somebody on TikTok using this, so I got it. I really also like the bottle. Charlotte Tilbury is pretty. It's like elegant and simple. And then last but not least, I got two. Am I gonna like this? No, I'm not. I got two lip liners. You guys know I've been putting, uh, what's this called? Brow Wiz on my lips, which is ridiculous. So I finally got two. I got Charlotte Tilbury ones. Also because of some girl on TikTok. But I'm excited. I hope they're good. I literally haven't had a lip liner in forever because my mom steals them. Okay, so that one's called Hot Gossip. And this one's called Iconic Nude. I would love to have an Iconic Nude. This looks like it could also be ugly. Stay tuned. I got 11 things from Sephora for $200. I think that's a record. Almost 300, but let's not talk about it to feel excited. And what feels like extra goodies. That's it, guys. I don't think I have anything more for you tonight at all, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I think this could potentially be the end of the vlog. End it off with a little haul. Maybe in the next one I'll show you guys the actual products and what I think about them because I know I'm not gonna be like sitting down recording my makeup for the next couple of days. And I should probably start editing things for YouTube because I would just keep recording things and leaving them in here. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm happy to be back to the vlogs. It's been a blast. And I will see you in the next one. She's the only girl in the whole of world Running around the city like she's on vacation With her there's always something to do Whether you're a dude or an alien Tune in to your new best friend The only girl in the whole wide world With her there's always something to do